hello guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome my name is ivy and i'm a makeup artist and youtuber based in asaba delta state nigeria and in today's video i'll be sharing with you my, the five eyeshadow palettes nude eyeshadow palettes everyday wearable that you can use for the clean girl face bit similar to what i have right on my face right now that timeless face bit now if you want to know what these eyeshadow palettes are you want to know the eyeshadow palettes to get to help you create this everyday clean girl makeup wearable um, look then please keep on watching and while you are still don't forget to subscribe to my channel down below by clicking on that red button like this video drop a comment for me in the comment section and let's go The clean girl makeup look is that neutral, natural, no makeup makeup look, okay? So someone reached out to me on Instagram and was like, oh wow, um, I saw your video on the clean girl makeup look and I know the eyeshadow palette you used, but um, are there other eyeshadow palettes that you can use to recreate this makeup look? and then i answered her and i thought to myself why not just come on here there might be one or two people who are wondering who would like to have options so i am here today to give you um one two three four five five eyeshadow palettes i think i added another two seven <laughs> seven eyeshadow palettes that you can use to recreate the clean girl makeup look all right the very first one I have right here is from Juvia's Place. This is the Juvia's Place Nubian Eyeshadow Palette. This is the original um, eyeshadow. Um, it has 3, 6, 9, 12. It has 12 eyeshadows. I'm just cleaning my hand. I dipped it mistakenly into one of the shadows. And let me come a bit closer these are the eyeshadows in this palette so if you want to recreate the clean girl makeup look you can use the clean girl makeup look first and foremost is always recreated with matte eyeshadows no shimmers on the eyelids okay so you can use these two shadows right here they're matte shadows for the lid, for the brow bone, for transition colors, depending on your um, skin tone. And then you can use, it has a really nice brown here for um, transition color. It has this dark brown here for the crease. So you can use this new brand eyeshadow palette. That's the first one I would recommend. Now let's just get over with, get done with Juvia's Place products so that I don't mix everything up. The second one on our list will be this Juvia's Place, the Warrior by Juvia's Place eyeshadow palette. This is your neutral everyday eyeshadow palette. Now for those who like that neutral look, you have some shimmers here that can you can use to achieve that. But sticking to our clean girl makeup look, um, we are sticking to only the mattes. You have this matte off-white shade right here you can use for the lead you have this brown shade you can use for the lead as well transition and then you have this dark brown you can use for the crease to smoke out your bottom lash line etc and my personal favorite the warrior by juvia's this is the warrior 2 by juvia's beg your pardon and this eyeshadow palette is is gold. You have this. This is a white shade right here. White. The Zaz, the shade Zaz. You have this shade Kana. You can use for the clean girl makeup look with um for the lid. You can mix it in with this Dara as well. At times I do that. I can I mix this and this together to give me that um, almost nude eyeshadow look. Um, then you have the Zama shade, Yodit and Kufu. You can use 
this Zama or UG for your transition color depending on how light or dark you are and then this Kufu for your um, freeze color and then again you have the black if, you, if you've not watched that video on my clean girl makeup look I'm going to link it somewhere here on the description box down below um, you know remember, remember we use the black this black is black right here so you can actually use this black to smoke out your top um, lash and then to smoke out your bottom no we use just to smoke out the top lash you can use that the fourth eyeshadow palette I will recommend right here is this one. This is the Balm Meat Matte Nude Eyeshadow Palette. This eyeshadow palette has seen better days. Let me not blind you guys. <laughs> I mean, from this pan right here, you can see the shadows I reach out for the most. Like this three in the middle right here. I am willing to repurchase this um, eyeshadow palette just because of these three shades now this one is what i this shade matte thing is what i normally reach for for all over my lid for this clean girl makeup beach you can also use this matte lobandi lombardi or the matte abdul but this matte abdul gives that grayish cast so i would not recommend that use either this matte lombardi or the matte thing then you have the matte rosen matte garcia you can use for transition colors you have the matte wood you can use for crease color to smoke out your top lash you know so this is another eyeshadow palette that i would recommend you to get that is the fourth mm, clean girl makeup look eyeshadow palette the fifth one i have right here is from a nigerian brand called zaron cosmetics and this is the zaron nude eyeshadow palette in the shade x now this one um is just limited to this color right here for the lead now if you are of um, melanated skin like if you are dark in any ramification this shadow right here is really beautiful for lead color then you can use this this is in the shade coral mind you then you can use this shade dune sahara for transition color depending on your skin tone how the deep your skin tone is and you can use this mocha i use this mocha because my skin tone is really deep i use this shade mocha to um smoke out the top lash line to smoke out my lower lash line you know all of that good stuff and then the additional two palettes i would add is the first one is this morphe jacqueline Hill palette this is the eyeshadow palette i used for the original clean girl makeup look that i did this is eyeshadow palette i was among the first set of people to get this and so it doesn't come with names but um if you want to know the shadows i use here you can reach um or watch that video but basically just um this one it doesn't have a name this one i think this one this one and i think the black eyes here so i've hit fun on some of this really really nice eyeshadow palette and then the final one this this is like last two the morphe jack the morphe jacqueline hill and this one i'm going to be showing to you right here they are just like extras just in case um this one is the zikel times the stanley eyeshadow palette and i want to close this mirror because it has a huge mirror so that i don't blind you guys what I normally do, I reach for this shade Milky Way or White Truffle or Latte. I use for my for my lid color. Then you have Amber or Umba for your um, transition color, and there are a lot of options here for the crease color. You have Isoken, you have Amma, you have Peace, you have you also have the black, which is the risky right here that you can use to smoke out your top lash line to put on lashes so that is it guys i just um showed you the these are the eyeshadow palettes i normally reach for when i want to go for this clean girl makeup look i mean gone are the days of reaching for two three four eyeshadow palettes to do one simple look so there you have it guys all your questions answered these eyeshadow palettes are eyeshadow palettes you can use to recreate the clean girl 
makeup look in case you were wondering or in case you wanted to get it or you didn't know who to ask you don't know what shades to use and all of that i just give you the expo okay <laughs> thank you so much for watching guys thank you for asking to the lady who did who reached out to me on instagram thank you for asking give me a video content idea um don't you guys don't feel um what's the right word i'm trying to think of the right word don't feel somehow asking me to do things for you guys okay like film content let me know what you like to see what you want to see like what you're having issues with any aspect of makeup or any of that related stuff just let me know and i could um film a video about it answer your questions all right thank you once again for watching and i'll see you in my very very next video next week bye guys